we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Ghost, for fresh revelation. We thank you for revelation that the gates of hell shall not prevail against. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that, that we cast our cares upon you and that you sustain us. Lord, we thank you that we can do all things, all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. We thank you, Lord, that this is not on us, that the battle is not ours, but it is the Lord. Lord, I thank you for this word that I pray encourages your people, that I pray teaches your people, and that I pray most of all changes your people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for trusting your vessel. I thank you, Lord, as I continually, I continually yield to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that it is you who is perfecting everything that concerns us. Like David, when there is war all around us, we look to the hills from whence cometh our help. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you will never leave us, that you will never forsake us. We thank you, Lord, that you are Alpha and Omega. You know the beginning from the end, Lord. We thank you and we thank you. And it is upon that revelation, Lord, that I will impart to your people in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you all about new level, new devil. And you, like the young people say, it's a lie. It's a whole lie. It is a lie, y'all. It's a lie. It's a lie that we have believed. It is a lie that has hurt us. It is a lie that has stagnated us, right? And like I always say, I'm not going to tell y'all nothing that's not Bible. I'm not. And the, this word comes because you know, I decided last night, I made a decision last night to um, to venture out into something that I've done before. And, you know, I woke up this morning feeling like I was dealing with some warfare and not necessarily feeling my best. And, you know, I just started to pray about it and I started to come against it. And as I started to come against it, things started to shift in my body and you know I started pleading the blood over over myself over my mind over my physical body and you know I lean very heavily in this hour on revelations 12 and 11 that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony thank you Jesus because as my body is continually yielding to good health I cover it with the blood of Jesus and I, I also lean on the word of my testimony, right? And this is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about, right? Because we say new level, new devil, right? And I want to take you to the Bible. I want to take you to Jesus being tempted in the wilderness. I want to take you to Jesus using the word against the devil, right? There is a, a, a and I, I'm, I'm driving, so I don't have the Bible right in front of me, but you can read it. It, it is in it's in one of the gospels where Jesus is tempted in the wilderness, right? And the Bible says that Satan left until a more opportune time. The Bible says Satan departed until a more opportune time, right? It didn't say another devil was going to come. It said, he, listen, he, that same devil was coming back at a, at a different time at a different time let me tell you right the enemy doesn't want us to progress he doesn't want us to move and so it is that same devil that will use those same lies those same strongholds to try to stop us to try and stop us and just like i was praying when this video started one of the ways that we counter that is that god is alpha and omega right so we make a decision right we make a decision that the enemy can't stop us you know, one of the things that God said to me is, are you expecting the devil at a new level? And I was like, huh? Like, you know, whenever we venture out into something new or sometimes we almost, you know, we quick to say, oh, that's the devil. That's the devil. Like, like seriously, right? We do. We do. We do. We do. And I'm saying all of that because God was teaching me. God was teaching me, first of all, about healing my expectation. That's one thing that God has been talking to me about, right? Jesus says, Jesus says, you know, don't let your heart be troubled, right? 
he says in the world right there's going to be issues there are going to be trouble he said but be of good cheer i have overcome the world right that's definitive jesus is telling us don't 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 worry about it don't worry about it because i've overcome right you know the bible says like i told y'all i've been leaning heavily on revelations 12 and 11. we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony the second part of that means oh, okay so here you come back here you come back trying to set trying to, to send thoughts of sabotage trying to send thoughts of defeat right but i can testify that it's not gonna it's not gonna it didn't work last time it's not gonna work this time right we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony it didn't work last time it's not going to work this time in the name of jesus that's what god was saying to me let me tell you the enemy doesn't want you to think that you're going to operate and walk in that big beautiful blessing that you are believing god for no not you you're not going to have good health you're not going to prosper you're not going to get married your marriage not going to get restored. Your your mom's not going to get healed. That's what he wants. That's what he wants to make you think is that he can stop you. That is why the Bible says that the enemy roams around, right? He prowls around like a lion seeking whom he may devour. He doesn't have access to any and everybody. He has to see who can I get to accept the lie? Who can I get to believe that I'm the big bad devil that can conquer them? Who can I get? That's who I will devour. So guess what? We make a decision and we overcome by the blood of the lamb. I decree I'm undevourable. You can never devour me. Not today, not tomorrow, not next year. I am undevourable. Is that a word? <laughs> can, can, can a woman of God have a, a grammar check on here? I make a decision. The Bible says when you decree a thing, it is established unto you. I decree I'm undevourable. I decree I walk in the blessings of God. I decree that by his stripes, I am healed. Healing is who I am. That's what we're talking about, right? That's what we're talking about, right? I decree that I see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, right? I'm not sitting here, new level, new devil. I'm not sitting here. Okay, well, you, I, I'll tell you what. You can, you can work at, at, at a job and you can, you know, make decent money, but entrepreneurship, no. Or, you know, I'll give you peace in, in, in this situation, but next level, no. Right? The enemy can, let me tell you, thank you, Holy Ghost. This is what the, the enemy used to make me think that he, he, could, he was making progress, right? He could stop my momentum. That, that's the biggest revelation I got this morning. The, the enemy can make me think that he, and this is the vision I had. I had an open vision of somebody like, like me walking and running and like, um, it was like flash bombs, like light, like those kind of, those kind of bombs where it doesn't really do anything, but like the light brightens you or whatever. That, that's the vision I had. And the Holy Ghost literally had to say to me, how can someone who is defeated make progress? I used to always feel like the enemy is gaining on me, right? Especially when I'm launching into something new, right? Even with this, even with this place of worship, right? No matter what it is, no matter what it is, right? Like I felt like the enemy could, could frustrate it. I felt like the enemy, like literally the Holy Ghost said to me, how can the enemy gain? Like I would, okay, so this was the thought. The thought was, oh my gosh, the enemy's gaining on me. Oh my gosh, here is something new, right? Oh my gosh, I'm not making any progress or leeway. And I'm telling you, I come to speak death to that lie over us. How can one who is defeated gain make like like how? How can he make how can he gain on you? How can he get one up on you? He's defeated. He started the race already defeated. Right? Even in the Bible, when the children of Israel are right at the Red Sea and Pharaoh is right up on them, right? The Bible says he, he can only read it. They can only get but so so close. They can only get but so close, right? This is in the Bible. When Pharaoh and, and his army are in the sea, the children of Israel are already out of the sea. That's why God told Moses, now you can close it right? The children of Israel were never in jeopardy of drowning because they are already completely through the Red Sea. I'm trying to help us, right? Because like y'all, I'm tired of venturing out thinking, you know, I really want to do this, right? What is it that you really want to do right now that the enemy is like, how you going to do that when you barely, you barely making it here? You a whole liar. Y'all, I, 
get so crunk like when I like like I do and this is just really how I talk for real and I really tone it down for this video because if y'all would hear me by myself like listen I'm not playing no games with the enemy I'm not playing no games with these lying thoughts and these vain imaginations and these strongholds the devil is a liar did you hear what I said the children of Israel were already through the sea when when Pharaoh's army was allowed allowed to come in the sea and it was only because God said okay now close it Moses now we now we got them all caught up N now N listen yeah now, now we can close the sea now we can close the sea because we got them we got them right where we want them and now the children of Israel will never ever ever have to worry about Pharaoh's army gaining on them they will not have one night of of unease in the wilderness wondering man I wonder if they got through I wonder if the Bible says not one not one of them every single one of them drowned it so we put to death that lie that the enemy can can stop us we put it to death in the name of Jesus we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us get that in your mind meditate on it day and night I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me I can do all things what are you, what, 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 what are you trying to do you want to be somebody's wife you trying to be a millionaire you trying to operate in good health you trying to break generational bondages I can do all things through Christ Jesus Oh, come on, woman of God. That's too big. Don't be trying to get people hope up. That's the problem now. That's the pro We try to be, we want to have these pity pat reasonable prayers. That's what we want to pray. Well, Lord, just, just get me out of Egypt. I'll be good. You know, that's what they told Moses. Like, listen, that was that, that's that wilderness mentality. We good. Like, we not in bondage. We got manna every day. We chilling. We don't need no land flowing with milk and honey. Nah, we don't need all that. We good right here. We don't got to worry about Pharaoh. We chilling. No, no, no. And that's why when we launch out into the deep, right? That's why the enemy wants to make us think that like, like the men on the boat, we going to be toiling all night for nothing. But Jesus said, and I came to decree, let down your nets again. What, what is that big that you believe in God for? Let down your net again. I decree like 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 Peter nevertheless at thy word I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me if the enemy thinks that he wants to battle me he gonna battle with the word because I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me that is my identity it ain't no new level new devil you know what it is it's new level new identity that's what it is thank you holy ghost that's what it is oh, okay i gotta be i gotta be better than i was last time okay that's what it is it ain't no new level new devil it's new level new identity that's what it is okay see being abram got me to Canaan but it's Abraham that's getting ready to give birth to a nation is somebody hearing me is somebody hearing me right now that's what it is oh okay we kill that lie new level new devil no we bind that lie up in the name of Jesus and what we loose in the atmosphere is new level new identity 